Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Crypt Dark. I'm Flop and we just rocked our second mission. Uh, we picked up some cool weapons that we're gonna take a look at. A uh, bunch of heavy artillery and explosives as well as the, the knockback utility. Attention crew, we're moving deeper into the flotilla and getting closer to the Crypt um, Now, I'll note you only get so many wins before you have to face the Crypt Dark, so if you're looking to maximize your score, you're gonna wanna go against the hardest possible stuff um, with the biggest possible cash income because income is your score. Uh, if you're looking to win, you can stick to the easier stuff. Um, although occasionally tackling a hard one isn't so bad. Here's a good one. Keep door lock systems. That's usually pretty easy to bypass. Destroy repair systems. We want to do that most of the time anyway. Um, no supply pods. Uh, that could be a little tough in the bigger ones. Uh, it means you have to front load on ammunition, which is a lot. Uh, also, I'll note that this comes with two separate alarm systems. Uh, they'll each be targeting something else. One is always going to be targeting the core. Um, two drone factories and a juggernaut factory, which is totally not fun. Uh, as well as two repair systems, which are going to make destroying the drone factories uh, a little bit harder. Um, and sentry cannons and shields, it's a bit much, uh, unless you have exactly what you want. If, yeah, your setup is amazing. Here we have some really brutal uh, bonus objectives. Three max hull, very tough on a, a level five, especially one that has a bunch of enemies. The more enemies there are, the more you're going to be attacked from different areas. Also, the enemies will be 50% tougher, and there's a Juggernaut Factory. Both of these kind of disgust me, and I want to stay away. We don't have a scanner, which makes this ghost a tough proposition. This is looking like the only thing I would care to go after. Uh, it does have... You get good money from these particular um, bonuses, but that's because they're quite deadly. It does want us to destroy the failsafe. Um, as I figured out earlier... Uh, if the failsafe is acting like another piece of equipment, it doesn't seem to count as a failsafe, uh, which should make that objective pretty much impossible not to do. Um, and it's full of sentries. Uh, we know our rail cannon is really effective against sentry systems, so that's not so bad. Um, shield, flak, so there's going to be some cannons outside the ship, which could make things annoying. Uh, but basically, all we have to do is destroy one system, and I think the failsafe should go down. If we feel like destroying all these sentries on the inside, then that could actually pretty much just disable the ship completely, since it won't have too many internal guards, and it won't be creating more. Um, but technically, all we have to do is destroy the shield. This will become the shield, then we can destroy that, and then we could go straight for the brain and win. It is a level 2 core, so it won't be a pushover like these earlier ones. Uh, I think we can do it. Load up max of 100k. I don't like that. Uh, it just means that we'll try and be smarter instead of uh, more destructive. But it's easier to play with low health, yeah, when there aren't drone factories. Okay. Um, the storm hammer might be a good call. It's relatively efficient. We're only a couple K over already. That doesn't quite do it, huh? Uh, so let's do take a look at some of our new weaponry. Um, EMP grenades uh, totally disable everything. Uh, they explode after one and a half seconds, just like all the other grenades. You can totally cook them. They don't do damage to you or things around you, but they completely disable enemies. Um, very good for, say, the flame, the napalm. Uh, the auto cannon is basically the the auto cannon is pretty intense. It's basically the heavy machine gun is a step.
step up from the regular machine gun, the medium machine gun, and this thing is the ultra heavy machine gun. This is a cannon that does lots of damage. And there we burn through all of its ammo in one go. Uh, the slime mortar. The slime, as you might have seen, is cool. It's basically a slime grenade launcher. Can't click it, but it's great for filling a room full of uh, toxic fear. Uh, I think it's got a lot of potential, but you're gonna have to. Oh, and then these these bad boys are pretty cool. Particularly, you need to remember that shift can enlarge your view with these. But here we have a good rocket that we ourselves can guide a little bit. Um, can't do a whole lot with them, but they are... Um, when you need them, they're great. And they can... The rockets do a lot of damage uh, to ship systems in particular, among other things. They're great for clearing a room. Um, they're really good for uh, blowing the crap out of systems. So what do we want more, the rail cannon or auto cannon? Well, you can basically get five auto cannon shots for every one. Uh, oh no, it's worse than that. Auto cannon, it looks like you get two for 1K. Uh, rail cannon, you get less than one for 2K. So you can see how the game values that. Um, keep this. There we go. Um, we got the storm hammer, which appears to go through the armor of a lot of systems. Um, the rail cannon is just for finishing things off quite quickly. Thankfully, uh, we can get past the flat cannon really quickly. I wonder if we can destroy the locks using the storm cannon. I definitely want to, or the storm hammer. I definitely want to give it a shot. Uh, maybe we'll storm this thing. We'll pick up these sciences and we'll come over and try and destroy this through the wall, which would be awesome. Um, there are a lot of sentry turrets on the inside of this ship, as you can tell. There's the shield. There's the failsafe. Uh, there are not many keys where I can get them. So let's come in here. Oh, let's save the door lock destruction, because that should... Let's destroy the shield first. The failsafe will become the shield. Let's destroy the door lock. And then let's nuke the brain. Um, the nuke might not be able to finish off a level 2 brain. Um, we're going to have to clear a ton of turrets off the walls to do it, but thankfully they're just turrets. There are not many mobile enemies here. Um, one of the reasons there's no alarm in this is because the sentries really can't react to it. And maybe we'll just take our three tech and run, because everything else is going to take a long time. And we're going to test our theory that the failsafe, if it is not a failsafe at the end of the mission, um, counts as destroyed. I will take on that burden for you. Okay, we do have a nuke. We're not violating any of our little bonus objectives, are we? Three max hull, loadout of 100. I know what my weapons are. Storm hammer go through walls. Oh, so it can. Ooh, I took two hits for that, which is not very good. Okay, let's let our shield reach 
charge. Failsafe became the shield. My thought is this thing probably possible. Yeah. Storm hammer is pretty sweet though. So let's dig in there. We got all those guys. Whoa. our heel. bad okay it does look like the fail safe uh doesn't count as a fail safe once it's changed something the developers probably want to know all right so uh we raked it in Pretty well. Let's see, we got an 11k rebate on just under 100, so that's about a 10% rebate uh, after expending our ammo. We didn't get a whole lot of tech. Uh, we did get the lightning gun, the heavy machine gun ricochet, a personal favorite um, since it really helps make the most of your ammo. And we got the smart machine gun, or the smart gun, which is pretty good. Um, also, three max hull and the loadout max of 100k are worth a good bit of money, so when we doubled up by getting all the objectives, we really raked it in. So here I am with 1,345k 1, uh, cash going into uh, my fourth mission. That is pretty good. Uh, so we're going to stop here in this episode, and we're going to see what we might tackle so here's one with incredible amounts of bonus money available, and yet you'd have to tackle a ridiculous level six ship with only three hull and your ramp spike or something. Uh, that's just gonna be impossible. Or at least I'm not capable of doing it. A uh, Couple more reasonable things here. Destroyed drone factories, two juggernaut. Uh, factories is really bad news. Juggernauts are brutal and only three max hull. Uh, this is probably what we're going for, this nice easy one. So uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, we made pretty good progress and uh, that last mission was quite the breeze. We learned how nukes work against brains. You have to stay close enough to the core when you're nuking it for it to sink in. Uh, one nuke is not going to be enough to destroy a level two core. And we discovered that currently fail safes don't count as 
uh, fail safes once they've changed. So in the next episode, uh, we'll get to try out some of our new weapons, I think. The heavy machine gun ricochet is always tempting. And uh, until then, do as I say, not as I do.